the month of May has seen over 233 all-time record lows in North America. This is versus just the 18 all-time highs. The mainstream media has gotten a great out during this pandemic and where they don't have to actually provide you with any information of what's going on. Now, my good friend over at Electroverse, Cap Allen, continues to tirelessly work against the mainstream by publishing actual information. North America has set 233 all-time monthly low temperature records in May so far versus just the 18 record highs. The majority of North America has suffered a historically chilly start to 2020, which is kind of funny because you don't hear any of this on the news. And the cold isn't letting up, continuing through May and busting hundreds of low temperature records as it goes. Now, the month of May has been chilly one thus far at Reagan International Airport located in Virginia on the border of D.C., with this station in particular experiencing its third coldest start to May since records began back in 1966. According to local news site, the area has, through the 19th, seen 14 days below average, one day at average, and only four days above average. That's a pretty cold month of May. Hey, hey. Our average high for the first 18 days of the month was just, well, 68 degrees, with an average low of 50.4. And that puts the average monthly temperature at 59.6, which is 4.4 degrees below normal. And it doesn't end there. Using the same data tool NOAA cites in its latest report, as well as the same five-year time frame, it has revealed that temps in North America declined at a rate of 2.03 C per decade between 2015 and 19. This is a monster drop in temps. 29 times Earth's official average rate of increase since 1880, according to NOAA reports. But no one in the mainstream is picking up on that data set at all. And the mercury across the planet has also been falling during this time frame at a rate of 0.13 C per decade, almost twice the official rate of increase since 1880. Now, what does that mean for you and I? Well, it means that our grand solar minimum projections may well be coming true. And in fact, the global temperatures suffer the second largest two-month drop in recorded history. And we knew this right at the beginning of May. The second largest two-month drop in recorded history. Yeah, those are the facts. And we hear nothing from the media. But what's going on? It's very clear that cycle 24 is very similar to cycle 7 or 6. And we're headed into a grand minima like the Dalton minima on cycle 25. And by the time we hit cycle 26, we may well be in the Maunder minimum. And this will be the modern eddy minimum as depicted here, which will extend from 2030 onward. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when the mainstream media is feeding you dogma and diamond. Well, He's gobbling up the facts. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. Quickly, yet slowly. And you certainly will be able to paint a picture in the near future of what's going on. Share this video with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. We love you. And that is a boom to knowledge, period.